Over there, there. I'm out of that camp. Right there. My name is Marco Santos and I am a professor at the University of Sao Paulo. I study whales and dolphins. To do my undergrad, I was looking for professors to study whales and dolphins and I said no way because it would be impossible to do that in Brazil. So I started with a bicycle, finding, for instance, a dead dolphin, take measurements, take the screw in my backpack and go home. So my mother was very mad about me. <laughs> right now we are working on a project to collect dolphin sound emissions. But it is a challenge to study dolphins because they are very fast and it's tough to move with them or to follow them. Try in that direction. Maybe one here. So we need to find a unique place where they can be found in the same spot every day. This is why we are here. This is the paradise to study dolphins. Fernando de Noro is a volcanic island and here we can find huge population of spinner dolphins all year round. Look! Oh my gosh! They are already here! This is really beautiful. This is a unique place where we can reach these species for long-term studies. We can approach with the zodiac, we can take pictures of their dorsal fin and identify individuals. We can get much more information when compared to land-based observations. We saw males and females mating, calves interacting with their mothers, we saw many different behaviors in the middle of a group of 200 individuals. With hydrophones, we can study dolphins through sound emissions. It's a brand new area of investigation. Here we have the spectrogram, then I will play for you. Right. We analyze two sound emissions that dolphins display. The whistles that serve for communication among individuals, and the echolocation that they use to know where the coast is, where food can be found. So we have boats operating in the area and also dolphins in the surrounding area. Yes, the noises can change the behavior. The hydrophones can also detect noise from road traffic and we can compare when those boats were there if they changed their sound emissions to better understand how the traffic of boats can affect the health of dolphins. When we collect information about the dwellers of the ocean and we share, this is conservation. So everything that Anusha is doing here will be very important to protecting this area. And for someone that started with many obstacles, this is a completely unforgettable experience.